This is kind of part one of me turbocharging my diesel side by side. So the turbocharger itself today came in along with the gasket kit and oil feed and return. Just to give you a size comparison, there's a tape measure and it is an RHB 31. If you have not seen my diesel club car, carry all 1700, here it is. It's powered by a Kubota D722. And my goal is to put this turbocharger in here, somewhere like that. Actually something more along those lines. I'd like to keep that turbine housing away from those wires or I need to build a heat shield. But I got plenty of room to run and then exhaust can shoot right out back there. So I'd like to build the manifold out of inch and a half schedule 40 pipe fittings. I think that'll work well and then I will cut out flanges on my CNC table. I need to take the manifold off and trace it and scan it into the computer so I can get that going. But in my research, I actually found a guy that swapped one of these exact diesel engines into a Saturn and turbocharged it with this exact turbo. And he had some interesting results. He's actually getting 80 miles per gallon, but the thing is like gutless, but he's got a whole multi-part series on youtube so i'm going to try not to copy his content too much i'm going to build mine my way but yeah stay tuned the build is in progress so today we're going to pull the exhaust manifold so that we can do the cad work to cnc cut out an exhaust flange to turbo this sucker so we got the heat shields off then we'll work on the manifold bolts all right manifold is off that's what I'm looking for, but I'm actually going to take the uh, exhaust manifold gasket and go scan it. There's that little guy. Obviously, I'm going to make it thicker and fill in all these parts. Now, scanning. Here's that scanned image, but it's uh, got all that crap in there, so I'm going to put a piece of paper behind it and rescan it. That's a little better. So we're going to trace it in Inkscape. We're going to move this up there. That's what I'm looking for. Boom. Right into CAD. A little dirty, but I can clean all that up. But the general idea is I have that whole exhaust flange ready to go with minimal effort. Now that that's cleaned up, I will make sure to scale it appropriately so it is the right size. A quick way to scale, this is showing up as 16.81 inches. It needs to be 6 and 5 eighths, 6.625. So you take 6.625 and you divide it by what it is and it comes out to like 39.4% is what it needs to be scaled at. Boom, just like that, baby. So I'm going to come back in here and add some mass here. Make this thicker across here and here. I'll probably cut this out of 3 8 or 5 16 but I'm going to dimension this hole. So that comes out to be 0.9 inch hole. So inch and a half schedule 40 pipe fittings will not work the way I intended. So I basically need to find 1 inch pipe fittings. So after I get a flange going, I'm going to mount that turbo somewhere right in there so it is kind of a lengthy turbo manifold so there you go part two 